Heads up, if you like karaoke, you're going to love this tutorial. So back in December of 2021, I made a tutorial about this truly insane app that allowed you to remove the vocals from any song on your computer. Now, admittedly, it did have a few problems. For example, it was only available for Mac OS. And the other problem was it wouldn't run on any Mac with the new Apple Silicon chips, which Apple had just introduced at the time. Many people commented on that video requesting that I update it if I ever found an alternative solution that worked for everyone. Thankfully, I did. How to remove the vocals from any song on any computer. That's coming up next on Tech Talk America. Removing the vocals from a song is like taking a baked cake and then deconstructing it into its original ingredients. Last year when I made a video about this topic, I showed you how to do this using an app. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to do the same thing from a web app. I know, right? The website that I'm about to show you was developed by a guy named Melnick Dimitri, who will either love or hate my ass after seeing this video. There are a few things that you should know before proceeding. First, while this website is free, there is a limit to how many songs you can process in a day. I could be wrong, but I believe that number is three. However, if you do become a supporter of his on Patreon, which I did, you can process significantly more songs and you can even access lossless audio files. If you go with the free version, there's a 10 minute maximum, whereas if you're a Patreon supporter, it's 20 minutes. Okay, let's get to the big reveal. The website that you are about to viciously bookmark is vocalremover.org. There are two versions of this web app. One version just removes the vocals, so it's perfect for karaoke, whereas the other, which you can access by clicking on where it says splitter, allows you to further deconstruct tracks into vocals, bass, drums, and background instruments. To be clear, the music files you upload need to be local. That means it will work if you bought the song through either the iTunes store or Amazon, but if you're using Spotify or Apple Music, the subscription service, it will not work. When you get to the website, just click on browse my files and then direct it to that song. It takes less than a minute to process and when it's done, it looks like this. I want you to be able to hear the before and after results. So at this point, I'm gonna play you 10 seconds of a song that I got off Epidemic Sound. Then I'm gonna replay those same 10 seconds, but remove the vocals. Here's what it sounds like before we remove the vocals. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to love, not afraid to love you. And here's what it sounds like after we remove the vocals. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to help support my YouTube channel, feel free to click the new super thanks button that allows you to leave a little tip of your choosing, even if it's as little as $2. Hey, every little bit helps. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.